Dear students, under the chapter Land Resources and Agriculture, till down, we have done the different uses of land and one category of the crops, which is known as food crops. Under the food crops, we have taken up the various crops and their conditions for the production. And now, we'll be taking up the another category of crops, which is known as fibrous crops. There are two important fibrous crops, one cotton and another is jute. Now we take up cotton and the production of cotton and the conditions required for cotton. Cotton is the basic raw material for the cotton textile industry. Half of the world's cloth is manufactured from cotton and is aptly called the universal fiber. Large part of cotton growing areas went to Pakistan as a result of partition of the country in 1947. Acreage of cotton has been increased during the last 50 years and the factors responsible for that are improving irrigation facilities, use of better seeds and use of pesticides. So children, when I say the use of pesticides, I mean because the cotton which is grown in India is a very soft cotton which is known as the desi cotton and which is very prone to the insects and pests. So that is how the use of pesticides has been able to increase the production of cotton in India. Cotton is a tropical plant that grows in the areas of temperature ranging between 20 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius and the rainfall varying between 65 to 85 centimeters. The another basic requirement for the cotton is the frost free days which has to be around 200 in number and the specific soil which is required for cotton is the black soil. When I say black it turns black when we have the lava mixing up with the soil. So that means the areas of the volcanic eruption, they have a black soil, which are fit for the production of cotton. Alluvial soils of northern India, they are also best suited for the production of cotton. And for the picking up of the cotton, the human labor is required. So that means like the rice, it is also labor intensive crop which requires lot amount of labor. India is the fourth largest producer of cotton in the world after China, USA and Pakistan. India produces 8.3% of the world's cotton and as far as the total crop area is concerned, it covers 4.7% of that area. Now, on your screens, you can have a visual which tells you about the percentage share of the various states as far as the production is concerned. The leading producer, Maharashtra with 26%, Andhra with around 18%, Gujarat with around 17%, followed by Punjab 13% and Haryana and Karnataka, each 7% of the total produce. Now on the screens you can have a visual how the cotton looks like and in one visual you can see there's a cotton ball with the threads coming out of that. So this is how the cotton looks in the field. Now there's another visual which shows you about the cotton producing states in India. So this map shows that which states, different states, they go for the production of cotton. And you can see that all the western part, few northern states, and whole of southern India has a production of cotton. Followed by cotton, the another fibrous crop is jute. It's a second most important fibrous crop of India. This crop provides cheap and strong fiber that is used as a raw material by the jute industry. Now the conditions required for the jute production, first we take up temperature. 
it should range between 24 and 35 degrees of the Celsius and the rainfall required is over 150 centimeters and the relative humidity should be nearly 90 percent and this crop grows well in the alluvial loamy soils which is frequently renewed by floods. Why this type of soil is required? Because jute is a crop which exhausts the fertility of soil. So that means the areas where naturally the soil is fertilized by the floods of the plains and the other parts. So those areas are best suited for the production of jute. 83% of the total jute production is in the state of West Bengal and the other states are Bihar, Assam, Orissa, Uttar Pradesh, Tripura and Meghalaya. So these are the two northeastern states which produce jute. Now on the screens you can have a visual of jute. Children you might be knowing Jute is also known as a golden fiber. In Hindi, you must be knowing it as patsan. So this is a basic crop which had been used in India for the various purposes. But unfortunately, now this has been replaced by the plastics. So which is a basic threat to the environment. Now on the screens, you can have a visual which shows the areas which produce the jute. You can see West Bengal is the basic state, followed by some of the northeastern states as well, where the fertility of the land is a natural process because it exhausts the fertility of the soil. So we require those areas where the automatically the fertility of the soil is regained. Now we take up another crop which doesn't come under the fibrous crops but it is considered as a cash crop. So that crop is sugar cane. India is claimed to be the homeland of sugar cane. It's a main source of sugar, gur, and kansari. So when I say kansari, children, I mean that desi chini, which is prepared out of the juice of sugar cane. It's a long duration crop, maturing in 10 to 12 months. So that means this crop remains in the field for full one year. The temperature conditions required are hot and humid climatic conditions with the temperature varying between 20 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. The rainfall has to be between 100 to 150 centimeters. Dry weather condition is required at the time of the harvesting because sugar cane is a crop which is a weight losing crop as well. So that means if it is kept for a long time before it is sent to the sugar mills, it loses the weight because the juice present in that crop is lost. But at the time of harvesting, the dry conditions are required and frost is injurious to crop. Children, you must be remembering when we were doing the cotton, we could did that the frost free rays are good for the production of the cotton, whereas frost is injurious as well as to this crop that is jute. The soils required are loamy and clay loam, and it is a fertilizer intensive crop, so that means it exhausts the fertility. So if naturally the fertility is not regained, we have to add the fertilizers to the soil. India is the second largest sugarcane producing country of the world after Brazil. Sugarcane area extends right from Kanyakumari in the south to the Gurdaspur in Punjab in north. So that means it covers a large area. The tropical areas which are there for the production of the sugarcane are Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra and the subtropical areas UP, Bihar, Punjab and Haryana. Now on the screens you can have a visual how the sugarcane looks like. 
Now, this visual shows you the area which are rich in the production of this crop. So, the whole of the northern India with the western part of the country that is Maharashtra and Gujarat as well as the southern states that is Tamil Nadu, Andhra and Karnataka as well. Now, we are going to take up the another category of the crops which is known as beverages. So, under beverages, the first crop which we are going to take up is tea. So, tea is the most important beverage crop. It contains theme that makes the tea takers more active for some time. In India, the tea plantation was introduced long back, that is in 1840s, in the Brahmaputra Valley of Assam, which is till date the largest producer of tea in the country. Tea requires 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius of the temperature. And for tea, it's not only the high amount of rainfall is required, but the rainfall should be well distributed. Well-drained loamy or the forest land rich in organic matter soil is required for the tea production. As we have discussed the various crops which are labor intensive, for example, cotton, rice. In the same way, the tea is also a labor intensive crop because this is a crop which is to be plucked by the human hand. So, this is known as a labor intensive crop. India is the world's largest producer of tea, contributing about 28% of the total tea production in the world. There has been more than three folds increase in the production from 1950 till 2000. The largest producer of tea in India is Assam, with more than 50% production. And the reason is quite clear. As right now we have discussed, the plantation of the tea started from Assam itself. The next largest producer is West Bengal, which accounts for 22% of the tea production, followed by the Nilgiri Hills of Tamil Nadu with 16% of the production. And Kerala also produces 9% of the total India's tea production. Now on the visual, you can have a look how the tea gardens they are like and you can see the manual labor plucking the tea leaves. This visual shows the production of the tea producing areas. Now we take up coffee which is another beverage. It's a second important beverage crop of India after tea and there are three varieties of coffee Arabica, Robusta and Liberica. And the most important coffee which is grown in India is the variety which is known as Arabica. Coffee requires 15 to 30 degrees Celsius of the temperature with 150 to 200 centimeters of the rainfall. And the another most important requirement is the shade is required at the high temperature conditions. India produces 4.3 percent of the world's coffee and Karnataka with 58% of the coffee area and 70% of the production is the largest producer of the country. On the visuals, you can see the coffee beans and the coffee plants. And this map shows that the areas which produce the coffee. The largest producers and the main producers are Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, followed by few of the northeastern states and the eastern coastal straits. So children, under this chapter and under this unit, we have covered the different uses of land, followed by the various categories of the crops. One category, which we have done, that is known as the food crops. Another category, which we took up, that was the cash crops or the plantation crops. And we have also taken up the beverages. So these are the various categories of the crops which come under the agricultural production in India. Thank you.